It's complicated. It's complicated. You know, she has to take care of the boys. She has to raise them. She has to kind of give birth to the boys in her own way, the teach them everything they done. know, control them. No, yeah, she's a hard worker. Hard worker. Lee, I must say that the brother day we meet at the start of season two feels very different from his previous iterations. Oh, how good. did you how did you approach this more individuated uh, version of him? I mean, that's exactly right. He's he is individuated. He's reveling in his individuality. Um, that I I found you know in a in the context of the Cleons that values imperishable permanence. Um, I think it's interesting that he that his you know swelling. Cleonic ego <laughs> leads him in <laughs> leads him in in, in pursuit of his, <laughs> um, of his own path and not the one that has been laid out before him. He's going to live life the way he wants to. He's going to make decisions the way he wants to, and he's going to you know he he plans to end the genetic dynasty by marrying and um, and creating an heir. So um, I you know I found the character. I, I had a lot of fun with the character this year. To be honest, I think I, I found a lot of humor in in um, in kind of how uh, savage he is, and you know, primitive. Uh, speaking of swelling, primitive savagery, uh, Laura, I was very shocked, shocked by <laughs> how we find Demerzel and Brother Day this season and the dynamic that they have. It's not one I would have expected in season one. Um, what what is going on in um, Demerzel's robotic mind? What does she <laughs> feel about this uh, brother day? Does she? Well, are you okay? Do I need to save you? Is what I'm asking. It's, com she, she's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. It's complicated. You know. She has to take care of the boys. She has to raise them. She has to kind of give birth to the boys in her own way, the teach them everything they done. know, control them. No, yeah, she's a hard worker. Hard worker. And this Cleon 18th, he's like, he's not an easy one. So there are some extreme ways she needs to use to to help this this version of a man. To <laughs> version of a man. Nice. To survive. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. She has a mission and she there are many ways to to execute that, that mission. And here we <laughs> We see and we see one. four or five of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned, you know, marrying uh, us, Queen Sarah, Queen of My Heart. Um, how does her introduction uh, affect both of you and your relationship? I think when he, they don't really have a lot of friends, the Cleons <laughs> and, and Demerzel. They don't really see too many other people. So I think having her kind of enter their orbit I think he and when you know he tries to sleep with her and that have you you you've seen that episode yeah mm -hmm. and he's not capable of it um, because he's only capable of it with her I think he starts to question like like what is what have you done to me like what is what is going on here and I and I and I think we're gonna stop doing that because I'm gonna be this person now I'm gonna actually don't want to be that person anymore I want to be this person. Um, I, I, you know, I think he's, he's tortured in his way, you know, he's not, he's in a problem. He's in a, he's, he's, he's fighting a, a losing battle because he's, his ego leaves him with a lot of blind spots that he's not able to see the reality. He's not able to see that maybe he's not the hero of this story. Maybe someone else is, maybe, um, He's on the wrong side of this, actually. Many, many thoughts for Brother Day. Best of luck to him. <laughs> Thank you both. <laughs> I cannot wait uh, for everyone else to join me in Foundation Season 2.